Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Dr. Tawana Worlds, and yes, I am spinning the block again because just a day ago, we was this close to a government shutdown, and a government shutdown always affects a certain type of people. Matter of fact, we 44 days away from another government shutdown. And that government shutdown will affect a particular type of people. According to Joe Biden and everybody else, and I just need y'all to hear this because I truly believe that if we stood up, game would be over. And I'll explain that in just a moment. Let me let you hear who would be affected. Why is it always us? I got that answer. Hold on. Now, a small group of extreme House Republicans, they don't want to live up to that deal. And everyone in America could be faced with uh, 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 paying a price for that. They're changing. They made a deal. They shook hands. They said, this is what we're going to do. And now they're reneging on the deal, which is not much of a surprise these days. And the black community in particular is going to suffer as that occurs. For example, shutdowns are going to risk nutrition assistance in nearly 7 million moms and children. It's going to disproportionately affect black families. The Department of Housing and Urban Development will have to stop nearly all of its enforcement work fighting housing discrimination. EPA would have to stop its important work bringing environmental justice and frontline and fence line communities because most of the inspections you know, and hazard waste sites and chemical facilities would come to a halt. The historic work we're doing to increase the share of federal contract dollars going to small disadvantaged businesses would be disrupted. Funding the government is one of the most basic fundamental responsibilities of Congress, and if Republicans in the House don't start doing the job, we should stop electing them. Y'all see it right there. It's been all over the news because they wanted us to know that black people is going to suffer if the government shut down. Now, they didn't stop the government from shutting down. They just paused it for 45 days. And... I've always came by here and said, I wonder why it's always the black people, you know, for the C-19, you know, it was a black community that was affected the greatest for the, the, you know, the stuff in your arm. It was, it wouldn't work if black people didn't take it. When the unemployment uh, rate went through the roof, it was the black community that suffered the worst. When the housing market crashed and people couldn't afford to pay their rent, when inflation went up and people can't afford to pay their bills, it's always the black community. When the, the government shut down, it's the black communities. And I said, I wonder why. And then I had an epiphany. I know why. We, the biggest spenders, I went and looked at statistics. We are only 14% in this country. And we the smallest as business owners. 2%. Asians was the smallest population at 6%. But in the CEO business space, they 11%. And then you had Hispanics in the middle who's like 15, 16, no, 18% population. And then they're, they're um, 8% business owners. And I was like, you know what? I know why they always coming for us. Because we don't own a damn thing. <laughs> we always need them. We always have needed them because we don't own nothing of our own. That's why everything will always affect the black community. That's why. Because the black community is on weak. Not, not the, not everybody. But predominantly, they on WIC, they on low housing, they on food stamps, they on Medi-Cal, they on Medicaid, they on Social Security, they on all the government handout programs. And they don't own a damn thing. That is why they keep effing with us. That's why. And so you know what? It wasn't only him. It was a man that I shared with y'all just a, a few days ago, two or three days ago, and a week before that. That said, yeah, this new CBDC is going to affect black people. He didn't say black people. He said food stamps will control and program them 
uh, cash aid, welfare, we'll control and program that. Anybody on some type of couponing, uh, clipping uh, mission, we'll control them. Because we don't own anything. And you know what's crazy? We missing out on the biggest wealth transfer of ever, ever, period. There ain't no time that I could even think of. That has been profitable for us to be a part of it without having to rely on these folks, without having to, to, to depend on these folks for handouts. Man, I'm righteously indignated. The wealth of the wicked has been stored up. You know what's the problem? We won't get up and go get it. And then we continue to spend our black dollars in a system that is coming for you and I. We continue to do that. We are the biggest consumers and the smallest in, in any type of assets. We're the biggest spenders. You wonder why the Chinese is ranking up high in the business space? Because they come into our hood. The hood that stays so poor that when all this stuff go down, that it affects us the greatest. They bring their shops into our hood, our neighborhood, our community. And they become billionaires. Then they send the money back over there to wherever they come from. And make them billionaires in their own country. Off of our black backs. And that's okay. That's not okay. That's never okay. I'm not mad at them. I'm mad at us. You want to know why I'm mad at us? Because you know how much power we possess? Let me tell you how much power we the people possess. If we all said on Monday, tomorrow... That we ain't going to work. We would shut this dang on country down. This country cannot survive without us. Without our labor. Without our time. That they pay us minimum wage. Think about that. You only worth minimum wage. You a sucker of what? Because I ain't no sucker. Lollipops get lit. And Dr. T ain't no sucker. Is you a sucker? Is you worth minimum wage, ma'am, sir, brother, sister? Are you worth minimum wage? I bet you. If we decided that we ain't going to work tomorrow, all of us collectively, we would shut this country down. You know, another thing, if we all said, look, tomorrow, Monday, we're going to the bank and we're pulling all our money out at one time. We're going to stand in the lines until we get every penny, every dollar out of that bank account. Do you know we would bankrupt the bank? If we decided that we ain't going to go spend no money that we just pulled out the bank for one day, not 10 days, not 15 days, one day, we would disrupt the economic change. So who's, who's at fault? Is it them or us? It's us. And that's why we got to be doing something right now. Right now. I'm not going to share a whole bunch of what they're doing because you already know what they're doing. I wanted to share that because y'all think I'll be crazy when I tell y'all they coming for y'all. No, everything has been aimed and intended. Why? It just can't be for all people. It's always black people. Why? Because black people ain't got a damn thing. So with that being said, let me flip this camera around, show you what I do got for you. Hold up. Now, I told y'all the last time, okay? I told y'all that with all of this shutdown, lockdowns, you know, uh, all of this stuff that they got parading down the pipeline that's going to affect us eventually. And if you are not essential, then you ain't going to be moving around and being able to have means to make money. So transportation is a thing. I told you guys about the two-day intensive. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. But we have a 12-month course that my husband is willing to take a few people that is serious and ready to get in this space and learn how to maximize this space. So I want to turn this camera around and show you this 12-month course is going to teach you everything. It's going to walk you through Instead of three months, it's going to walk you through every process. Freight brokering, dispatching, F-250, box truck. It's something that we ain't never done before at the price that we're doing it at. And it's something that we ain't going to ever do again. It's either you get in on this or you don't. And this is really to help the people because the price point that we are pricing this at for, for a year's worth of work, 
Folks is usually doing about anywhere from 20000 up to about 80000 a year working a nine to five. You're not going to pay nowhere near that for a year coaching program. A course that's going to teach you how to scale fast and then how to continue to scale and how to operate a successful business. And it's only $2,500. Now, let me show you your investment right back. $2,500. Some people make that in a month. We're going to allow a handful of people to get in for $2,500 for the whole entire year. And let me show you your investment back. This is called a Raycon. You see world's first class transportation. You see the date. You see the pay rate. That's your investment back, but I'm not done. You see the date at the top, right? World's first class transportation. Same week, that's another sixteen hundred. So now you in profit. You see another one, same date, nine twenty five. Hot shot, fourteen hundred dollars. I just showed y'all fifty five hundred dollars in one week, and that's on a non CDL transportation business without ever having to leave your house. We have the two-day intensive where you're going to leave that bad boy with your MC number, DOT number, everything that you need to know to be a professional out here and sit back at your house while you are in passive income in the transportation space. That way, you know when everything else shut down, I won't. So you have two options. You can take the 12-month course. You can attend in person two days, have it done in two days. Boom, you leave there with your business in your possession and ready to roll out. We got that for you. Got the VIP day with Dr. T. Now, let me tell y'all. You might be like, oh, it's two days, but let me tell you what you're going to get in these two days. First of all, one day is going to be dedicated solely all about you, the experience. One day is going to be dedicated solely about us, me and you. I showed you guys, I'm going to show you how to do a million dollars in a three-day time span. Three days. I'm going to show you that. And additionally, then partnered with some folks where we are going to show the people only in this VIP day how to become a funding uh, banking operation for small business owners. So now we're going to show you how to uh, put your stuff together and then offer funding opportunity for other business owners and catch the catch the keywords business owners. So now you are in a position to help other people become business owners and then get funding and financing through a powerful company that you're going to be able to be a part of. Absolutely no denial. So they can't say they can't afford your stuff no more. There's 100% approvals. So you're going to get that on top of all of this other work that I am going to give you in that VIP day. I only do these once a year. So if you want to come and you'll have your meals, your transportation, your, your housing, and it's not just a house, it's a mansion. It's a, it's a wealth encounter experience. Then look, now is the time. Get out of your comfort zone and get into the a cultivated climax environment so that you can grow. You can receive what you came to receive and you can grow. Also, this is it on this digital wealth transference. Everything then gone digital. Everything has gone digital. We all know that. I ain't got to keep on reiterating that. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. You understand? You got to go get dressed to get it. It's not coming to you, beloved. You're going to have to learn how to do it so that you can go and repossess your stuff. You're going to have to get dressed how to do it and dressed appropriately to go and do it. I got the community, y'all. This is what I'm going to say. The workshops, you can pay $97 every workshop or you can get in a community for 2 k for 12 months. And I am going to show you how to do 10K in 30 days. 
I got a $75,000 play right now for Navy Federal Credit Union. When I tell you all the juice and the sauce is going to be in the community, because I'm not doing this no more. And today at midnight, everything goes away. I love y'all. Peace.